My poor boy lost his arms in a fishing accident. <laughs> Hey, there they are. Hey, little miss. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> are you here for your paint job consultation? Uh-huh. Okay, so how do you want your paint job? Hmm. Let's see. Well, I think what I want is some purple flames on here. Purple flames? Yeah. Yeah? And here I want, like, a pattern like like stripes like purple pink gold on the fenders yeah okay here what else do you want hmm I want a peace sign right here a peace sign mm -hmm. well maybe not over the grill how about on the back do you want a peace sign on the back sure maybe for extra cool for the final touch I could put some cool stickers on. Maybe. You could do whatever you want like, once it's out of the paint shop. Like your slick work stickers. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So you want you want it to be all sparkly, right? Yeah. <clears throat> all sparkly, purple flames on the sides. Mm-hmm. A peace sign on the back. Yeah. And how about some sparkly wheels too? Um Sparkly gold wheels. Sparkly gold wheels. Uh -huh. That I think we can do. Sparkly like that? Like that? <laughs> that I think we can do. It's gonna take some time to get all these stickers off of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, we forgot. Tell the people what your car's name is. Curtain. Curtain. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll bring it to the paint shop. Thanks for the consultation. Okay. Goodbye bye. Goodbye bye. Alright guys, well another Slickworks episode. This episode I have a job to do uh, for just a wonderful person. She's dropped off her car here, so I'll pull it into the shop. Okay, so I've got curtain up on the hoist now. I uh, just have a look at her undercarriage. All looks pretty good, so I'm gonna start pulling stickers off and uh, getting to work on it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, curtain is now fully stripped down. Notice something interesting while I was pulling the stickers off. Look at how much this has been worn out from, uh, from my kid turning. Not only that, but in the actual steering shaft. Look at this crazy groove. That's just from the kids riding around the house. They got some mileage on curtain here. So anyways, yeah, this is a curtain all stripped apart. Still got to pull the headlights out of the fenders. I think we're going to go with like a, a half moon uh, eyelid on there. And yeah, more stickers to clean off. Of course, there's some, we'll call it patina on the bumpers, just because uh, that's actually fun facts. That's my daughter's middle name is patina. So yeah, I'm going to finish getting this all peeled off with the stickers and whatnot, and then start prepping this stuff up for, for paint. All the plastic parts, of course, are gonna 
go into adhesion promoter and yeah just gonna paint everything black flake everything uh, sand down the flake reassemble it and start patterning I got a really cool idea for the wheels too so my little five-year-old customizer did these flower stickers going up in the in the middle of the fender there so I think that's exactly what I'm gonna do only with some lace and blow through it yeah good idea else 320 grit interface pad Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the Okay, back in the shop again, and last time I was in the shop I gave all the plastic pieces, fenders, everything, a wipe down with a wax and grease remover And it took all the shine out of it, so I'm not sure if there was some mold release agent or whatever that was sucked into these things which gave them their shine, but I think we'll have a better chance with the adhesion now that uh, even just wax and grease remover alone has took off a lot of that shine. So today I'm gonna get all the plastic parts in primer. These are actually metal. Don't have to prime those. Okay, so all the plastic pieces are gonna go to primer today and yeah. With the exception of these, I don't think I'm going to prime these. I'm probably just going to rattle can them because inevitably they're going to be rammed into walls and stuff like that. So, Also, I got a whole bunch of uh, pre-mixed House of Color candies so I could just play around with different colors without committing to buying the uh, uh, intercoat and uh, you know the concentrate stuff. Also got a bunch of two rulers and uh, a new spinner tool. Yeah, tiny little guy. Gotta get this thing out of the booth, but you guys have probably already seen this. Maybe not. Hmm. I don't know which video I'm gonna edit or post first, but this thing's gotta go. Okay, well, I've just wiped this stuff down a second time with uh, wax and grease remover, and as you may or may not be able to see already, the static, because plastic's just naturally static, it's already sucked in a whole bunch of dust and, and stuff into it. So, What's the solution? An anti-static gun. Do I have one? No. What's the next best thing you can use? Denatured alcohol. That's your best chance at pulling static out of plastic parts before paint. Quick wipe down inside and out, and then I'll finish it off with a tack rag before I start shooting this stuff. But with these parts, as they are going in a heavy metal flake, we're not too concerned about dust getting in the paint because we're going to have such a high buildup on these parts. Uh, we're more concerned about just making sure that the paint has something good to stick to and uh, that we have enough adhesion. Okay, four fenders are in primer, ready to be sanded down. And kiddo wants sparkly gold wheels. So these wheels are steel, but what I think I'm gonna do is run a, an eighth inch taper on the outside of the wheel, and then another eighth inch tape just inside of that. And then I'll flake it, and then I'll peel that tape off, because I wanna keep just a, a little strip of the white, so it's like, almost looks like a thin white wall. And then I'll run, I'll do a, uh, a black 
eighth inch black strip before we get down to the, the sparkly gold. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna tape it out right now, but I'm sure I could figure out something that'll work. Hey sweetie, I'm Hi, working Daddy. I'm working on curtain right now. You wanna see what I'm doing here? Mm -hmm. So because I wanna keep the white, I was thinking, you know, you know what Jeannie has white wall tires? Green wall. Green wall? <laughs> no, I was thinking of running a piece of tape here so that mm -hmm. we keep a little white stripe around and then there will be a stripe of black and then there will be sparkly gold inside. How does that sound? Mm -hmm. Yeah? You want to keep a nice little thin white wall? I think I'd like a green wall. A green wall? That's not going to work with your paint scheme. <laughs> hey, Mrs. Slick. <laughs> Bye, Mrs. Slick. Okay, back in the shop again, and yes, I got a haircut. It's time to get this stuff painted tonight. I got seven coats of paint that's gonna go on it. Here we go, give me a long night. Okay, curtain is now in two full coats of base coat black. It's just tacking up, probably gonna leave it like 15 minutes, mix up some clear with some uh, flake in it. And yeah, that actually looks pretty sweet, totally blacked out. But I'm gonna go way further with this paint job. Full metal flake. I'm spraying seven coats tonight. Well, technically eight, maybe nine. Maybe 10. Maybe 11, maybe 12. I've got a little dilemma on my hands. So I need to get this and this, that and that, and that and that wheel in clear coat because I need to tape on it. So, cause to tape off the area of where the white wall is to make that work, I need it to be fully cured clear coat. Otherwise, you know, it could leave a mark in the, uh, in the base coat, which would be no good. So I'm not going to get all this stuff flaked out, the body and the fenders and all the fun stuff. So I got to wait for that for another day. More delays. Okay, so it's the end of the night now. This is what I'm left with. The perfect little mini thin white wall that I was hoping for. We got a few little spots like that, but that can be taken care of with an X-Acto knife. Uh, before I mask off the inner line, before I go for for the wheel. So I call that a great success. It is now after 12 and I'm going to bed. So yeah, the rest of the stuff's gonna cure up tonight. I'll be back at it tomorrow. That looks pretty darn good if I do say so myself. Ok, 
Okay, back on curtain. So I've got everything masked out. So I'm gonna blow in the flake here, and then I got my little rip strip right there. So I'll rip that off and it'll expose the white wall and the part of the tire that I wanted to mask off. And then, so that'll get clear over everything. Masked off that little design for the, I guess, hood ornament. I guess that's what you call it. And these guys here, so these are the headlights. I'm going the fender there. So they're gonna be half chrome headlights. And I'm gonna run this down, downwards with a scotch bright over and over and over. So that's how I'm gonna scuff it. So it'll hopefully get a, a nice headlight look uh, before I spray in some gold candy and then clear coat just that. So yeah, this stuff's right about ready to be moved into the booth. And yeah, just gotta clean out the booth a little bit because I've had something else on the go. Okay, so curtains all prepped up and in the booth, I'm gonna start off with a fine silver base and then add in some fine silver holographic. And then to finish it off, I have this stuff, which is called Hyper Hollow, which is super holographic. Let's see if I could turn on the flash. Let's see if that'll make a difference. There we go. Look at that. So this thing is going to dance in the sun. Yeah, so this is Hyper Hollow Trance from M and Cat Glitter Factory. Awesome place. <music> Okay, so it is all flaked out. It's got a real nice lavender sort of look at it to it now. And yeah, so now I'm just pulling off my rip strips here before, yeah, it looks pretty good. Before it goes into final clear. So I just rip this off. Okay, so now it'll clear over the white wall and the black and all this flake. And keep in mind, the white wall is part of the wheel, the black is part of the wheel, and of course this is all part of the wheel. Just with some tricky masking, we've got this cool thin white wall effect. Just keeping that little white strip of the original color of the wheel. So once this is cleared and I unmask the tire itself, like this is going to look totally hot. Yeah. All right. Totally wild, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so I'm just getting stuff on mass now. And then I'm gonna sand, sand down the steering wheel and I think the wheels. I'm gonna get the wheels in, in gold today. So, yeah. Okay guys, round one, ready to shoot. So we're going pink and gold. Folks, it is now late again, of course, and walking into the booth now. Okay, so I just got this stuff unmasked, the wheels, anyways. Desired effect absolutely achieved. So 
Clear is still a little tacky, so I'm not gonna be putting my fingers on it. But look at that, how cool is that? Okay, heading down to the shop for another day. Um, got the wheels painted, got the steering wheel all pink, looks awesome. Uh, that magenta candy is pretty sweet. I used magenta candy and pagan gold. It's both uh, House of Colors stuff. But, so today I'm gonna kinda mock up the, the body and, uh, and tape out where everything is, like seat and like where the fenders are and stuff. Cause I'm hoping that today I'll be able to start busting out some patterns on it. I'm not sure how good the patterns are gonna be cause I actually have COVID right now. Awesome, right? But I'm doing okay. So let's see what we can do. So I got an order that came in today from uh, Maple Airbrush. Hmm? Yeah. I got some super thin tape, so we got, what is this? That is 1.26 millimeter, we got 0.76 millimeter, and I think it just gets smaller and smaller. Look at this, 0.3, like, I gotta, hang on, I gotta take this out. So this is 0 0.03 of an inch masking tape, so that works out to 0.75 of a millimeter. See if we could even focus on this. Like, look at how thin that tape is. Crazy. That's a nice little touch, eh? For the hood ornament. Cool. Okay, so the patterns are going good. So my little customer decided she doesn't want a peace sign back here. Instead, she wants a heart. So I printed this off. I tried taping out a heart yesterday, but I could not get it symmetrical. So yeah, I'm just gonna figure out which size heart would look the best on the back of this thing. Probably the second one, looking at that one there. So I'm gonna put a heart on the back of this thing. <clears throat> Again, just trying to take it easy because I do have COVID right now. <sighs> And speaking of having COVID right now, we all know that opportunity knocks in the weirdest of places. Do you feel like you could use a week off work? Or perhaps there's a coworker that you're not too fond of at your place of business and you feel like they could use a week off work. Are you tired of waiting and waiting and waiting for your inheritance from your grandma? Well, there's a solution. I've got the solution for you. COVID for sale. I'm joking, I'm joking. I'm not actually gonna sell COVID. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Curtain all patterned out. 
show you guys what that looks like. So here she is, all patterned out. The purple flames, we got Elsie's golden heart on the back. Did a bunch of uh, fingerprinting along the side, as well as the, the flames. Then on the top, I've got some stick it stencils. I gotta figure out which pattern I'm gonna put in there. But yeah, fenders are all done. I'm pretty much ready to start masking stuff off and start squirting in some color. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so the all four fenders are done. They're finished in the magenta candy. So those guys are ready for clear. I, I can't wait to see those in clear because I know it's just gonna pop. So I got the whole body done. So now the body, I'm gonna do this in the booth. I'm just gonna get my, get my airbrush stuff together and set it up and yeah, this thing's gonna be pink. magenta is done so now it's just time for unmasking 
and seeing how much of the color underneath gets peeled off when I remove the tape. So yeah, unmasking and then touch-ups and then yeah, just tack rag and I think this thing will be in clear today, which is amazing. All right guys, look at this. It is all unmasked. I've done the only touch up that I had to do, which is a little bit of gold ripped off of that. But look at this beauty. Pretty sweet, right? Yeah, so this is ready for clear now. I can't wait to see it in clear because it is just gonna sparkle. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna go into the booth. Um, I have a neat idea for how I'm gonna set this stuff up, these fenders up. Okay, so if I was to clear coat these while sitting on a stand, it would stick there, rip up paper, maybe even rip off, rip off some paint. So what I'm gonna do is I just flip the stand over, cleaned up the legs, so there we go. I'm just gonna tape it on there from the inside and there's my fender stand. taking stuff out of the booth and just seeing it in the shop plates because it just looks completely different. Now you can really see all that flake in there. Okay, I gave the bumpers a quick rattle can job. They look pretty good. So that means that curtain is fully painted, fully cleaned up. I got these in a, in a coat of wax right now. Uh, these are all wet sand and polished, look amazing. So it is finally ready for assembly. I've definitely been looking forward to this time. And every time I look at the body, I'm like, there's way too much silver showing. There's too much silver, but I mean, there's gonna be fenders there. There's gonna be a seat there. Oh, this thing is just going to be unreal. I actually took this out into the sun uh, yesterday and it just exploded. So the thing is, is I like the 3M polish. We got your number one, your number two, and then your number three. And the number three, basically all it does is get rid of swirl marks. But my polishing pad that I was using on my drill, which is kind of my weapon of choice for small stuff like this, I went to wash it and uh, and the Velcro back ripped off. So of course that's not gonna do very good with the drill. So uh, I'm hoping that the wax will take care of any swirl marks, but I mean, this thing sparkles so much in the sun that I don't think anyone would even notice if there's any swirl marks. So yeah, I'm gonna assemble this thing. Here we go.
final touch that needs to be done. I'm just gonna spray some silver on these, the rattle can. And uh, yeah, uh, masking job, maybe a little bit overkill? Maybe. Do you think there's gonna be any overspray on the car itself? I highly doubt it. So I'm just gonna give these a squirt, turn it around, mask the other side. I've worked way too hard on this thing to have any overspray get on the car. There we have it. It is now two in the morning. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, curtain is assembled and ready for the car show. Pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, very proud of this paint job. I think it turned out awesome. Can't wait to see it sparkle in the sunshine. So there's curtain all finished. Man, just can't stop looking at this thing. Just getting everything set up for the car show. Uh, I guess technically that's the first car I've ever painted. <laughs> getting the other pieces cleaned up and ready for the show. Just a couple of skate decks. You guys know this one from that last episode. Of course, my first piece. And then uh, just as an afterthought, I decided to set this up just to show the different size tapes that I use all the way down to 0.76 of a millimeter. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. A little excited, a little nervous. Well, I don't know, it's gonna be weird. It's hot, I'm gonna be sitting out in the sun for, for hours tomorrow. But I've brought 96 water bottles because at the last car show that I was at, there is like no one had water and then like, I walk around to the different food trucks. You got water? No, we're sold out. You got water? No, we're sold out. And then there was one person who had water. And then there was even like an ice cream vendor, but their their ice it, their flat top thing wasn't getting cold anymore. So we were all dying. And I found some water, and it was like two bucks or whatever. And she like hands it to me, and I'm like, oh, dude, this is like room temperature, but it was still wet. So I appreciate it. So for this show. I'm bringing 96 water bottles. I'm filling my cooler full of ice, and I'm just gonna hand out free water. So I think it's gonna be good, because, you know, I mean, someone's gonna see someone walking around with a water bottle. Oh, where'd you get that water bottle? Like, oh, go, go over, to, over to Slick's booth, you know? Uh, he's hanging them out for free. What? So here's a sticker, here's a water bottle. Subscribe. Yes. That is so sweet. Oh, man. This is going to be sick. Ah, <laughs> oh, wicked. Here at the car show now, even though it looks like we're in the paint booth, but had tons of interest. Actually, it's completely out of business cards now, so now I'm writing my phone number on Slickworks cards. So it's going really good. Well, we did it, guys. I'll show you what I mean by that. Curtain, yeah, who you won <laughs> at Slickworks' first car show. Can't beat that, eh?
already done the car show. We got the whole fam jam lamely in the truck. Elsie, what do you think about the show? Elsie, what do you think about winning an award for a curtain? <laughs> She's oh. tired. She's tired. So that's it. That's the curtain episode. Hope you guys liked it. We loved it. If you enjoyed it, hit subscribe. Would appreciate that. Hit the like, hit the bell notification. That also does something. Huh? Do it. Do it. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.